Hey guys, what's up? I'm Weasel, and today we're gonna do an unboxing of the Mad Cats Rat Pro X. I trained hard to say that out <laughs> properly. This is the new mouse from Mad Cats, and it is super modular. If you know the Mad Cats Rat Mouse line, then you know that they're all kind of modular, uh, and you can move and exchange uh, variable parts and add weight and whatnot. Um, this is the older uh, MMO7, and this is the new Pro X. And we're gonna do a quick unboxing. Just look what's inside and what you can expect when you get one yourself uh, Let's have a quick look what's inside just before I open this one up uh, and what it tells us choose from three different scroll wheels Yeah, you can exchange the scroll wheel you can adjust the click force of the mouse You can swap even the sensors So if there in the future comes a super crazy black hole sensor that gives you an insane DPI You can switch it out in case they don't go bankrupt so this series has two laser sensors and one optical that you can get your mouse with. Um, if you don't like it, you can get another one later and exchange it. But this is the one with a laser. And there's gonna be a lot of parts involved in this. I already, I already know. Okay, I don't wanna... Okay, there's two. <laughs> okay, things, things are already falling out of the box. It's bursting at, at the seams with pieces. Alright. Okay, that's where it's glued start with this part first. This is the main compartment with the mouse. Ah, you gotta lift this up as well. Very well packaged, I gotta say. That is the sensor. Ooh, very nice. I never held a mouse sensor. That is interesting. Now let's get you out of here. Out of your plastic prison, little one. So this is the very bare-bone mouse that you got here. There's already a scroll wheel and a hand rest and the pinky grip, but you can exchange all of these things with the pieces. Here's the sensor. I like it. It's a really sturdy cable. I've never seen that color. Really nice. Ooh, this is the travel case that comes with it. <laughs> it has the mouse on top of it. It looks really good. It looks really high quality. If you're traveling, if you're going to lands and other eSport events. Uh, in the box, we got, I think this is the lens cleaner. And this is the little hex. No, this is... This is, I think, for adjusting something. So this is the hex key that you then can adjust things with. I got another box here with the manual with a lot of instruction. Ooh, colored instruction. Wonderful. I'm gonna have a look at that in a moment. And stickers. I like that. Yeah, a few stickers for $200. That's the price point of this mouse are not too much to ask for. And here are the other parts. Uh, <laughs> two already fell out. Uh, one of the scroll wheels. Another scroll wheel. You want to come in here? Ooh, that's super soft. I assume you can like Put that over here. These are the uh, mouse glider for the bottom. This is a Teflon PTFE low friction pad for below the mouse. This is your thumb rest. Uh, another thumb rest. We're gonna have to compare those two real quick. Yeah. Pinky rests and another pinky rests. As you can see, you got a lot of parts to choose from. And we're just gonna quickly exchange a few just to give you guys an idea. You got the ceramic pads below the mouse. The ceramic is ultra low friction and apparently you can switch that out with these uh, Teflon pads. They are magnetic. I did not know that. Oh, that is genius. So you can very easily switch those out if you want to play around with your different frictions. There you go. That is, oh, that is great. I assume they're gonna hold on just fine. I mean, that's what the mouse is gonna lay on. And you switched out the plates below the mouse. This one does not come with weights. I also don't see a place to add weights. So I assume the mouse weight is final with this one. Right now there is no sensor in there. As you can see here are the pins. We're just gonna put the sensor in if you're cool with that. I'm gentle. This is not my mouse. That is Lauren's mouse, but she lets me unbox it for you guys. Say thanks to Lauren in the comments. All right. Here's your sensor. This is what is it again? That is an optical or a laser? It's a it's, it's a sensor. It is a it is a sensor. Let's clean that up. And I assume I have to remove those pads from the bottom. Just slide it in. It's in. Slide that on there. Slide that on here. And you're pretty much done with the downside, with the lower side of the mouse. All right, let's switch out this part just for funsies. Lauren's gonna have to adjust her mouse the way she wants it but I just want to show you guys how modular this one is. So that is what you use the hex for, that it comes with. You take your other one. And ah oh yeah, it's further out, right. It has, a pla it has a plastic piece. This one does not have a plastic piece, so it sits closer to the mouse, actually. 
We got three different reverse plates. This one is open, which is interesting. I guess that allows better air circulation. Um, they do feel, the material feels pretty much the same, but they do um, have different shapes. I'm gonna put on the very light one with the holes in the middle, just for funsies. And pretty much what you do is you just slide it on there. And you can move it back a little bit if you want it. This looks like I killed that mouse, actually. There's so many parts here. So the mouse wheel, there's a really cool thing about the mouse wheel. You can pop it up, you can remove that and then put, let's say, another wheel onto it. A really cool thing about this is this apparently this mouse wheel has a analog sensor in there. So it is not only one and off. It's kind of like an analog stick. I don't know why I would need that for a mouse. Maybe for zooming around. Um, here's your DPI button. Uh, button, button. Oh, and yes, and I totally forgot to mention you adjust the angle of this one with this little screw here. There's no screwdriver, but it's a regular Phillips head, very small Phillips head, and then you can adjust the tilt for this mouse. And other than that, that is the unboxing of the, wait, I trained this, Mad Cats Red Pro X. Yeah, nailed it. Like a size comparison. Oh yeah, the size comparison with the uh, older not MM07. Um, yeah, the MM07 is definitely a big chunk bigger. So if you have really big hands, I don't know. I mean, you can still adjust it, but uh, yeah, this one is definitely bigger. It has weights. You can add weights. You cannot add weights with this one. At least I have not seen a place where to do it, and there's no weights that come with it. It feels very good though. This is, this mouse feels very good. Really like the matte texture. Why 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 does it have to be glossy shine? where I put my finger. Why, why does it have to be black, glossy, shine, where I put my smeary, disgusting fingers? Other than that, it's mostly matte, but in all fairness, other mice do that too, like the Prote Proteus Core. I don't know what it is with the obsession with making accents in this glossy that really gets all grimy and dirty. White gloss, that's okay. With white gloss, you don't see your fingers on that. On black, mm, you kind of see them, but other than that, it feels really good. Anyway, guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, I'm going to put a link to the product in the description below. It costs $200 and it is a very modular mouse. You can get other sensors for it. And if you are a pro gamer, you might definitely want to look into that one. For the, let's say, casual gamer, this is a, seems a little bit overkill. But if you have very special needs in terms of like your pinky rest and your thumb rest and to adjust the size of your mouse, but not the weight. Uh, this is the mouse you want to go for. Or if you have carpal tunnel, that might help. That is probably the main reason why Lauren got it. Um, so if you have carpal tunnel problems, this mouse might be the right choice for you because it has the rest at the back. So you don't drag your hand across the desk and get carpal tunnel, whatever. However that works. Magic. Any case, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. I'm Weasel. I'm out and I hope to see you around. Bye-bye!